Well, we have the Markland donkey on the uh, bench here, and we are fixing its several serious problems. Now, I've uh, patched up all the cracks, but there was all these strange age cracks throughout the brass, and like fracture cracks, like it had been dropped. But, and it, it, shipping was very, very rough, so it did get damaged in the shipping. But these cracks seem more from age and heating, maybe from the use of it. And it is quite an old engine, I think, because it is oscillating. And it's one of the earlier oscillating engines uh, of the small donkey engines. So we're cleaning it up. We've uh, begun to fill those cracks that were leaking on the top with medium silver solder. This is jewelry silver solder. And patching up some gaping holes that were there uh, after the brass was just so thin. So after sanding and filing, I've found probably 10 weak points in the dome that I've fixed now. And there's solder on the inside. I'm going to pickle this pretty soon after we're uh, making this video. Um, but then I'll get back to soldering it some more. There's still probably a small crack here to fill. And the inside is done. This is the inside. And it was leaking around the base here, the tube. So we've silver soldered that completely around the base, as you can see, and it's been pickled. And then that will fit inside the donkey boiler and be soldered on the outside edge, which will be the most difficult, I think, of all the soldering jobs. So I'm not looking forward to that, but it's something that's got to be done. And then the top will be soldered again around the, the top of the donkey uh, boiler here. So that's the progress on the donkey. I've got a little bit more work to do on this engine. I got easy outs, but they are too large. That's the smallest one I could find. So what I'm going to do is try to tap the uh, drilled out uh, bolts that are there and gently use a high, uh, well, not a high speed, but a, well, a high speed, but a, a good tool steel tap, metric tap, to cut through the steel and the brass. And I think that the tank is uh, brass. So it might be steel, but I'm pretty sure it's brass. So it'll tap quite easily. But the uh, remains of the uh, bolt, uh, the two bolts that are there, might be a bit of a difficult tap. So I do want to use a hardened steel tap for that. Anyways, we'll get back to this. Um, this is a small torch from England. It's a lamb torch. And it looks a lot like the Markland donkey boiler. Just thought I'd point that out. Very similar. A little bit smaller. And this is the design I'm going to be using for my stainless steel boilers that will be 8 inches in diameter and have a dome top as well like this. So, Anyways, have a good day guys and I'll talk to you later. Time to get some rest. Just got off work. 12 hour shift basically in the freezing cold icy weather.